I'm out here at Voodoo Larry's shop, and I'm with... Gary Bach. Gary, what did you bring with you? Uh, my 1967 Corvette. Can you give me some details about it? Well, how long have you had her? I uh, bought it in October of uh, 1978, and I was 19, 57, and, and still got the car. And while you were in the garage building it, yeah. uh, Voodoo was sitting by you? I had uh, Voodoo stop by many times uh, in 1980. I think it was about 14, 15, and uh, he was very highly interested in, in building old school hot rods. So that's rods. where and, it all uh, started, huh? And, that's, and Larry has kept going with it and going more than anybody I know and uh, has done yeah. an incredible job. Absolutely. But, uh, no, but it's, it's great that you you know kept in touch this long and come oh out God, and support yeah. him. No, <laughs> old friends, you always got to stay together. We still see each other, and uh, it's cool. And we still we, we all like the same thing, so, so it works out nice. It's a great yeah. hobby. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. Enlighten me here. Uh, got body modifications, uh, front air dam from Eckler, rear rear spoiler from Eckler, been molded in everything, and then uh, it's got flares on it, uh, hooker header side pipes. Uh, it's a 427, not the original. Uh, I pulled it out to keep it, but this is another 427 uh, Big L's toy box engine, uh, 663 horsepower. It's cool. Uh, it's I, I like the pipes. I like them. Yeah, and they burn a lot of lakes. In fact, you get big scars. I do. I got oh, a big yeah. old round one right here from yep. my brother's coop. <laughs> Stuck to it at Dukes yeah. in Bridgeview, yeah? Uh, oh, yeah, Dukes is another great place to hang out. Yeah, yeah. not like the old days, but. No, I know. Those were the days. I know. A lot uh, of memories there. It's starting to show its age now because it's the paint job's from 1985 and it's got uh, 136,000 miles on it and it's been driven hard and. Just, well, uh, that's how it's supposed to be. I think the yep. paint looks good, though, considering last, how much you drive it. Oh, God. In the last year, it's been on ten, about a total of 10,000 miles over the road trips in good. the last 11 months. And uh, it's been a great, uh, great fun car to have. And, uh, I mean, your setup is bigger than the car. I mean, that's, that's, what, <laughs> that's what's doing it for me here, you know? But it works. It, it does. It's still uh, it's my first child. And uh, my wife and I, we both had it. We, she told me never sell it, just keep it. So I got two boys. That's a good wife. Yeah. Oh, she's a good good wife. I have no complaints. I don't think she does either. Right, hon? No complaints? Where's the wife? Right here? <laughs> Hi, wife. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you very much. That's right. <laughs> you. Absolutely. No. Gary, you need the motorcycle on your bike. Yeah, it's sitting over Grandma's house. <laughs> yeah. So no problems, overheating, any No, we've cured home. all the overheating problems in the last couple of years to get it ready for a road trip because that was that's always an issue, especially in the deserts what out size? in Arizona and Nevada. Oh bad. yeah, oh yeah. yeah. What size are running on the back? Uh what size rear end? No, uh, tires. tires, uh two ninety fives in the rear, two sixty five in the front. Uh they're still old school fifteen inch. Nothing bigger yet. Uh, I still like my old smaller wheels and tires on it. And uh, it's a very dependable car. I get thirteen miles to a gallon and uh, it's just a fun car to fun car to drive. And it's got pretty much all stock interior except for the late later model bucket seats, 1979. And uh, as you can tell, it's got wear and tear on everything because it's a driver. That's why it says the wonder. Yeah, because I I wander <laughs> town to town. Well, uh, hey, obviously you do. Yes. Where where are we hiding the nitrous bottle? No, none, none. <laughs> no. It's uh, it gets plenty of horsepower, it's, especially supercharged. It just screams. It does. Do you race her? You know, I did in 1997, we took it to track, and it was embarrassing because it's, it's not made for the track, and I, I didn't want to break it, so I took it real easy, and it just, it ran like crap, so I says, you know, it's a highway car, and it's built, it'll run with the, the, the motor and the rear end set up, it'll probably run close to 180, and oh, that's right. all I need. I'm, you know, it's, it's hard to believe that it's a highway car like that. I know. No, no and it, that's all, a lot of people build them, and they, they they can't go too far because it's they're un, they're unreliable, really? and this thing is as reliable as my Cadillac. I can wow. just start it up and drive it. I've been caught in the rain, top of Pikes Peak in the snowstorm, ice, hail. I mean, I've been in everything with it. And but, the paint uh, looks that good still. And it's 1985. The paint's uh, 31 years old, and it's it's beat up, but it, it shows it's it's got little flaws here and there and chips. But my buddy says, "Why paint if you're going on another road trip? It's just gonna get beat up again on the highway." We went through a sandstorm in Tuba City, Arizona. Scariest moment of my life. Couldn't pull over. I had a truck in front of me, behind me. Couldn't get off the side of the road because I, I ripped the oil pan off. So I had to eat sand for just, about two miles. It's hard to believe you, you know, took it through all that. I know. Is there anything, <laughs> I was going to ask you, is there anything about this year that's special that's not on any other year? Uh, yeah, 67 was, uh, it's, it's the last year of that body. They, they 63 to 7, they used it. 63 had a split. 64, they dropped it, and then the you know, difference was 67 had a its own reverse light, and then uh, it's the only year for the actual 
one-year gills on the side. The rest of them, they used them in 63, 64, and then 65 and 6, and 67 was the only one. Yeah. And actually, they dropped all the chrome and everything in 67, but I put it on there because I like the, the emblems, the 427s, and my Stingray emblems and stuff, but they're not supposed to be on the car. Okay. Then it had a personality, so I had to call it, call it something, so I put the wander on it. It tells me I wander. You gave it its own personality. <laughs> Thank you so much. Absolutely. You will be on U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. Awesome. Uh, we'll let Voodoo know when they're up. Cool. And thanks for your time. Good.